Hello, Klaus here, and welcome back to yet another video here at the channel. It is so lovely to have you back here, and I do hope you are enjoying the content and some of my experiments I'm trying out with my content this year. For instance, some of the intros you have seen this year has been done with anamorphic lenses, as you can see at the aspect ratio, all shot with the Siri 35mm lens. But that's not why you're here. In today's video, I'll show you some techniques, how to add in comments in your videos. And this is getting more and more common to add in some comments in your videos. Somebody saying, thank you for the great content or having questions and stuff like that. I've done that in the past, but I'll show you some techniques in this video, how to do that more interesting and uh, some different techniques in how that could work. If you're new to this channel and want to learn DaVinci Resolve filmmaking tips and trick and having a look at some pretty cool gear, I would recommend you to subscribe for the channel. Okay, without further ado, let's get right to the video. Okay, so let's get right to this video here. So first off, I'm just going to drag down my nice comment and uh, I have here a video clip here. Let's pretend that this is me presenting something about this nice comment we have here. So an easy way, of course, to make this a little more interesting than just slapping this on your screen is, of course, to go into the inspector. And uh, first off, let's uh, change the size a bit. We don't want it to be necessarily this big. So something like that. Uh, also, you could, if you wanted to go in and push this button here so we can move our comment around like so. So that is just a bit faster than using the transforms up here in the inspector. I'll just push this to enable this again. So first thing you could do to make this a little bit more interesting is to use transitions. So first up, let's go into our effects library. Let's go into video transitions and we have all of our different transitions here. And again, we can hover over our transitions to see what we like. I think we, I want to have a, either a push transition we could do, but that's not that interesting. Let's um, go in here and let's see if we have a zoom. transition here. Let's see what we have. We have one here. Let's take this crest zoom here and we're going to add this transition on to our clip. So here we have that going into our video and that's of course one way of doing it. So now we have a different way to get this in and we could just let it be a rough cut to get out of the screen which would work just fine and another thing to add in of course would be to select our uh, transition here and go into the transitions tab underneath the inspector and here we can actually add in motion blur as well so in this way we get make it look a little bit nicer, for instance. So another thing to do is, of course, if, um, for instance, we have this clip here, we can add in a effect. So again, in the effects library, we'll go into the open effects and I'm just going to write in shadow. And we have a drop shadow and we can add in the drop shadow here. So now we have a drop shadow on our thing. And of course, again, by selecting the clip, going up to our effects, we have our drop shadow effects here and we can actually change the angle. We can change the strength and we can also blur out the shadow quite a bit. Again, a very nice way to make this a little more visible. Also, we can make a cut in our footage. And then again, with the, the selected, we're going to select the clip itself. We'll go into the color tab and I think we should be here. We're going to select this clip here and a very easy way to do would be to blur the background. And you can do that in the color tab, super easy, just by clicking here and uh, then just push upwards. 
And we're actually going to blur the clip. Let's go back to the edit. And now we have us going into a blur here. And of course, we could make this look a little bit better as well. Again, if we go up to our effects library, we go into the video transitions and we're just going to take a cross dissolve and putting that on the clip here. So we are now going to take this blur and we're going to fade that in. Again, here I am talking about this very nice comment and then as it goes away, I'll go back into focus. One way of doing it. Another th way of doing this, of course, is for instance, I'm just going to take my effect here. I still have the shadow on. Another way of doing it is, of course, to add in a generator. So a super simple way is, of course, just to add in a solid color generator. And uh, in, again, in the inspector, we can change the color to, let's say, this bluish color here. And then if we go here, we actually have this nice little thing. Again, if we do it like this, it would be pretty nice just to change the position of the text itself. Also, uh, you could add in a bit of animation. So uh, if we go to the beginning of the clip, we're going to push the zoom and we'll go into the end of the clip here. And I'm just going to zoom in just quite a bit. And now we have this zoom effect on our very nice comment. Also, and this is of course new to DaVinci Resolve 17. I'm just going to take off my solid color. Again, in the generators, we also have a four color gradient we can use. What is super cool about this is now we have this four colored thing and we can actually change the colors to our likings. And that's done super easy just by clicking the colors. So for instance, if we want to have uh, green, uh, here, here, and we want to have the yellow in a, let's say, darker green. And we want this to be like that. And the blue, we want to be again in whatever shape of green. We will have this colored gradient. And of course, we can also change how the gradient is and where the gradient is on the screen here. Again, that is, again, a super nice thing. And then, of course, combining that with our little bit of animation. So there here we have a gradient, and that is a super nice way of making the comments stand out and look a little bit nicer. Of course, we could also change thing up a bit if we go into our effects library yet again. And we'll go into our effects, and we're just going to drag down a fusion composition, and I'm going to highlight that, and I'll go over to fusion. And here we have just a media out. We are going to add in a background and let's just connect the background to the media out. And of course, I'm going to change the color. Again, I'll take this bluish color and from our media pool, I'm just going to crack in a clip here and I'm going to add this in as well. Here we have that. And in the merge node, I am going to size this up like here, something like that. And then let's add in a um, the DVE tool. I obviously did search for it, but you can just push control spacebar to get that over. And I'm going to add in a DVE tool. I'm going to push shift and drag this in between the media in and the merge. And then I have my DVE controls here. So for instance, we could make this rotate a little bit. So let's uh, do that. Let's go into the rotation here and push in a keyframe and let's just go to the end of our composition and we are going to make it roll just a little bit like that. And then we could also make some kind of a, a rotation here again going from the beginning of the timeline, putting in a keyframe and let's go to the end of the keyframe. And then we want it to be like here, something like that. So now we have this little animation going around with our very nice comment here. Okay. So that was just some quick ways on how to add in 
nice comments into your videos. Anyway, I do hope you found this video useful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, share it with your friends if you think it would help them out. And if you want to be notified every time there's a new video on this channel, please hit that bell icon down in the corner. Until next time, keep filming, keep learning and keep sharing.